Hi, welcome to Data Engineering. So today we are going to discuss about Hive partition with the bucket. So generally we do partition or we do bucket in Hive, but there is a place and there is a use case where we do both partition and bucket. So before getting into this video, right, I just wanted to tell you, you have to uh, brush up few topics as a prerequisite. So you need to know what is partition in Hive and how to implement it. And you need to know what is bucket in Hive and how to implement it. So there is three videos that you have to see before you coming for this video. So I have, I've shared this three video links in the description box of this video. Please have a look and that video will give you a wide range of use cases when we have to use this and when we should not. So this information is highly required for this video to understand. Okay, now let's get into the topic. So now uh, generally when we do a partition, so why we need to do a partition? So generally we do a partition so that the full scan of the table we, we don't want to do. We are just trying to avoid the full scan and uh, whatever the data that I want to search for, it goes to the actual partition and then I want to query it. So that is how the performance will get increased, the time will get reduced. So that is the reason of partition. Now imagine when there is no columns in your data for partition. Imagine, now I'll just remove the last column from this data which you are seeing now. So let me remove this. Okay, if you see I have three three columns, serial number, let's make it a serial number and then phone number and account number. So if you see all these three columns has unique values and then you cannot do partition scale. If you have repeated values on any column, then you can do partition based on that. The grouping should happen. So whenever you see some files, some input like this, you can go ahead for buckets. So buckets used to take pick one column so we have to decide which based on which column the bucket has to create for example if i give serial number column as a bucket column then it will do a hash of that serial number and then based on that it will put values in buckets different serial numbers can have same hash value so that these two different serial number will go to one particular bucket also okay this is bucket use case fine so now imagine i have one column you can see country, India and US. Now I can do partition. So now imagine I'm doing a partition based on the country. And after doing the partition, still I want my performance to be boosted. So I'm checking whether we can do a sub partitions or not. So for example, uh, year is the first partition and then you can create a sub partition for month and then you can create a sub partition for date. So and then you can create a sub partition for district, state, something like this, right? Now this is subpartition because you have the option to do it. So you are doing in the data, you have all these values. So you are able to do the subpartition. But consider my case. So I have only country and country based partition I've done already. Now I'm trying to do a subpartition, but I don't have any columns. See, if I if I remove this value, now subpartition is done. Now I have only these three columns to be get partitioned for subpartition, but I don't have any repeated values. So now what I will do just to increase the performance of the table, once the partition is completed based on the country, now I'm, I'm, I want to do a bucket on top of it. So if partition is really, uh, only with the partition, your table performance is really good, yeah, please go ahead. But if you need more performance, you try to go for subpartition. If subpartition is not possible at all with the data, then go for buckets only. There is no other go. So now I'm going to create a partition based on the country. Then I'm going to create a bucket within that partition based on any one of these first three columns. Okay, as I told you, bucket will consider whatever the column you give for bucket, it will make a hash of it and then it will load the data. Now I'll show you in practical. So here you can see create table partitioned bucket with five columns and then partitioned by country. Okay, clustered by is what bucketing, bucketing. Okay, clustered by first column PID into four buckets. So when, when you create a bucket table, who will decide the count and how to decide the count? Now I have given four. So for this, the third video, I said you have to see three videos, right? The third video uh, gives you the complete explanation of how to decide the bucket count in Hive. So please do watch that video as well. Fine. So now into four buckets and then row format delimited field terminated by comma stored as text file. Now I'm going to create this particular table. So after creating it, you have to do insert into or insert over, right? That means a map reduce should run while inserting the record. Then only the partition and bucketing will be get created. So what I'm doing, I'm just creating a normal uh, table at, with the text file storage format and I'm loading some 10 records to the table. Now table, first table name is table one. Now I'm loading this table one select star from table one to this partitioned bucket table. That means insert overwrite table partitioned bucket 
partition country equal to India. So I'm creating an partition while loading as an in India. All 10 records that get stored into this table should get loaded as India records and from select star from table one. So now here the partition and bucketing both will happen for this 10 records. Let me show you. So first I'll just, I, I've created the first table. I will show you select star from table one. So this is the table, normal table. Now I, I'm, I'm going to load this data to the bucketed table. So I have triggered the insert overwrite command also. I will show you that. Yeah, so he, here you can see insert overwrite table partitioned bucket partition country equal to India select star from table one. So the map produce got completed. Now if I do a show create table, show create table, the table name partitioned bucket. I will show you the structure also. You can see partitioned by country, clustered by PID into four buckets. Okay. And I will just do a select for this table. Data got loaded. So partitioned bucket. Okay. 10 records. And finally, you will see one column, which is India. That is the partition column we used in insert over right to load. Now I will copy the location and I will show you how it gets stored in HDFS. That's very important because in interviews, people used to ask this actually. So Hadoop FS hyphen LS enter. Okay. You can see there is one file and there is one partition country India. Copy this Hadoop FS hyphen LS again. So now you will see four buckets. See the 10 record has been gets stored across these four buckets. It got, got distributed between these four. It just got splitted. So based on the PID, it, it does the calculation. So how internally buckets is calculating which record has to go to which bucket. So this is something I have given in the bucket video. I have detailed explained in the bucket video. That is the second video. So please do watch that video. Thanks for watching. If you really like this video, please do subscribe my channel and forward this to your friends and colleagues. And I have a new channel called G Vlogs, which has digital marketing related content. If you are interested, please go, go through that channel and please do support that channel as well. Thanks for watching.